Hi Gemini, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. A uh, quick reminder guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the roles could be reversed in between you and your person. And this is general, not personal. So please keep in mind that this is not going to resonate with everybody, okay? I know it sounds annoying, but I have to do it because people don't seem to understand that. And with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Before we start, let's take a look at the past real quick let's take a look at the past and then we're gonna move on with present the career the new love for singles as well so let's see what we got for Gemini in past what can you give me for Gemini in their past please and oops please and thank you Gemini for Gemini please and thank you so we got the ace of cups you could be dealing with a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio we got the knight of wands in reverse uh, Leo Sagittarius energy as well we got the full card this is Aries energy we got the ten of cups we have the justice card in reverse Libra energy and we got the seven of cups right here in the reverse at the bottom here we got the four of cups right here so somebody offer you something or make you believe that they loved you or that you guys had something and look at that they never meant that it. it's like they played you they played you though like they'd be like oh i love you let's get married like you're the person for me and then boom they disappeared and i feel like they disappear so quickly i feel like this person just it was something very 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 fast very unexpected very like what happened kind of mo like kind of moment you know this person when they um offer you that you guys could have been dealing with this person or dating this person for like around two years uh, this person felt like uh bored this person felt like they they wanted to explore more and they did the really very very bad move of like leaving you like that and they started the adventures of like just going around and experience new things because this person felt like they were missing out in life which they weren't but that's how they felt with the ten of cups and the justice right here you guys were engaged and about to get married this all went to south went to south to the south to the anywhere but what you wanted which was church or whatever it is that you're gonna get married you, you were gonna get married so um yeah that situation ended um for some of you you guys had um uh, I don't know a lot of things already purchased purchased you guys were looking at apartments and all of that just gone because this person were like no um never mind i don't want to do this no more so it was something unfair because they didn't tell you within time and it kind of ruined everything money wise as well with this uh seven of cups right here you didn't have a lot of options you didn't have a lot of exits or a lot of help to get things straight because not only are you mad and upset and hurt that they broke up with you like that you're also upset and mad that they did not uh, stepped up for what you guys had already planned and help you out to deal with it you know they were like acting like oh no that's yours and yours only and you were like screwed and also with a broken heart you're like holy moly and if you guys weren't married was like you guys could have left to get lived together and this person just leaves like that and maybe rent was very high for one person it was something like that that it changed your livelihood emotionally of course and money wise i see financially uh you could uh this person make you struggle after they left so now let's see what messages your person doesn't tell you or what is the, the thing that your person is not telling you, whoever this person might be. So it says, be ready for the decision of your life. Then we got sacrifice. Then we got find your ground and meditate. The last one says, I need to see you. I miss you. So this could be the same person here that left you because this person is asking you to see you again that they miss you so most definitely you guys have some sort of history together the other one says i want to fuck you every day oh and then the right person at the wrong time let's see then we got 
ancestors message you have been chosen not everything that shines is gold sometimes the most brittle rock is the most vibrant diamond don't forget that and last one says i'm hiding addictions from you and at the bottom here it says spirit left the chat and then i hope you like music because i'm gonna rock your world and the other one says you are my eve and i'm your adam give me the apple we'll find paradise so this is a situation that uh, it's kind of annoying because it could feel like it, it feels like an on and off situation an on and off uh, relationship uh, spirit feels that no matter how many uh, messages they give you you don't listen um, or don't take it into consideration because it seems to be that this person is not good for you this person is going to come back around most definitely and spirit feels that you deserve better but for some of you you really love this person still if to, even after all the things that they put you through so we're going to take a look at that. That's why I said Spirit left the chat because they feel like they give you messages and they you don't take them. You don't listen. That's how they feel. So let's see. What message do we have for Gemini about the situation? Please and thank you. Let's see. Please and thank you. What message do we have for Gemini? We got the Ten of Pentacles here the pisces energy here with the high priestess here we got the three of wands and the reverse uh sagittarius leo energy we have the four of cups in reverse the six of wands hmm. the full aries energy and the king of cups in reverse at the bottom here queen of cups and knight of pentacles and the six of pentacles here Oh my goodness, Gemini. Get that eagle. So what here with the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess here saying that you might not actually you might be ignoring something because this person is coming back around and it's something related to money. Something related to what you guys have. Something about money. Money only. Uh yeah, they like you, but they don't love you, that's for sure. It's something about convenience. Convenient for them. You have to be careful. They're coming in to steal something from you or to take something from you. The three of wands and the four of cups in the reverse right here. To be honest, I don't feel an apolo apology or apologetic energies here. They're coming back in just like they left. The same way they left, they're coming back in like, oh, I'm back. Never mind. Um, with the four of cups they don't really care about the situation that they put you through they really don't care how sad you felt they really don't care how damaging that was what they did they really don't care about that to be honest they even if you talk about it and they're gonna be like i'm sorry they're just narcissistic and manipulative because they are they really don't really care how they make you feel they didn't and they don't with the six of wands and the aries energy here with the fool they're coming back in again offering you a new beginning this person has a very childish and immature energy this person has not changed a bit this person is a danger to society as well as yourself with the king of cups right here no 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 they don't love you like i said before and they don't want to offer you anything stable or they're not going to offer you anything stable or real you are getting a child that's what you're getting this is a teen a child that comes into your life and you have to be their mother or their father because their energies are so childish <sighs> With the king, the queen of cups in the reverse and the knight of pentacles in the reverse. They got themselves in big trouble with money. They they owe something. They need money for something. And they're coming back around very lovey-dovey. But at the end of the day, they're going to tell you, hey, can you borrow me money or can you give me that? Because there's something about money that they need fixing. With the six of pentacles right here. They owe money to somebody that they ask money from somebody important somebody perhaps dangerous or somebody very important and that person that they uh, ask money from is asking for their money back and for some reason they can't have it or they don't have it completely or they have it but they needed to pay something else so anyways like reaching out to you uh to see if they, you can actually get them some money but it has it's about selling something that you guys had together that is valuable it could be a uh, a ring it could be a chain it could be a gift that one day they give you it could be a car i don't know what it is but something that they need to sell just to get back at that person or get money pay that money back 
but don't be even thinking that they love you because no they just want to get something from you they don't even have this thing of like oh fuck i've messed up you know i should be nicer uh none of that either it's like unapologetic i did it and that's it and that i see that childish energy like they really don't understand the damage and the pain and the hurt they cause they don't really understand that so also i want to thank everybody who supports me and loves me you guys are so kind i know that's place i complain about haters but you know i don't want to focus on the negative i want to claim the good too so i want to thank everybody who takes time and watch my videos and comments it i love when you guys comment i was coming back so again thank you so much for the support i forgot i i feel like i should say it more often or i would like to say it more often but i forget sometimes but i always appreciate you guys and now we're gonna take a look at how is what is this person's real intentions with Gemini? <laughs> there you go. What is this person's real intentions with Gemini? You see, three of Pentacles and Reverse, they don't wanna work on this. They have little to no intention to work on the relationship. It's not because of the relationship, it's not because they want it. With the five of ones, they owe money to somebody or to multiple people here and they're all asking for the money back and there's something that you guys have that you guys purchased together that he wants you or she wants you to sell to pay them back with a six of swords right here you got to be careful with them because they could actually even if you have kids with them or not they don't care they could actually have a gambling problem a drug problem an alcoholic problem they owe money because of that and you got to be careful because if you let this person in they could actually destroy you money money wise like financially and emotionally you could get very very destroyed and if you had kids everybody's gonna go down the drain because of this person the nine ones as soon as they get what they want they're gonna leave they're not saying as soon as they get what they want what they want what they came for they're gonna leave you the same way they did in the past so don't even believe this is a new story look at this they're coming for money they need money they need money and they're leaving when they get it you know this person is not good the tower look at that scorpio energy the tower moment you're gonna be left with the tower moment so whenever this person comes back around, if it's not, uh, you're not obligated to talk to them or obligated to do something, don't give this person the time of day. Don't. This person is no good. It's no good. You gotta be so freaking careful. One more, any other one you wanna give me? Oh, thank you. They have another person though. They have another person already. And whenever they come back around and they leave, you're gonna find that find that out. You're gonna find that out on social media. And you're gonna realize this person was lying to you the whole time. They're gonna and you're gonna realize why they came back for. So I will highly be on alert. I'll be be highly on alert if I were you. If this person comes back around. I hear like a PS4. If it's not a PS4 or something important, I know PS4 is not that valuable, but I don't know why I said PS4 to be honest. Um, I don't know. A car? I don't know. So, what is the outcome in between Gemini and this person? What is the outcome? The Sun Leo energy in reverse. The Nine of Wands. The Three of Swords. Look at this. There's no happiness. You're gonna leave. You're gonna left. They're gonna leave you hurt, wounded, and on debt. Lots of it. Look at the card. Hurt, unhappy, wounded, on debt. Three of swords. Broken hearted. Three times. Because I feel like some of you have given this person so many freaking times. This is the third time, and they're gonna steal mess you over i'm gonna try to f you over duck you over they're gonna duck you over i'm trying to not curse as much what else temperance nature's energy it's gonna take you a while to recover if you get this person a chance emotionally and money wise and financially it's gonna take you a while to recover so you have to be careful the seven of ones in reverse and the ten of ones 
they're gonna be fine they're gonna pay everything they owe and even if they didn't need that much they're not gonna give it back to you to help you out no they're gonna keep it to themselves because this person is a narcissistic selfish piece of something not very good and with the three of pentacles look at that three of cups I keep saying pentacles for some reason the three of cups right here they're gonna be celebrating partying being happy they're not gonna even look by, back to see if you're good so you're very good don't don't let this person come back into your life if i were you i would stay away from that person if they come back around if you're not obligated to talk to them or to get them back in your life don't do it and look at this the emperor in reverse this person has very bad hidden intentions when when this come back you have to be careful with it and i already told you it's telling you right here the outcome is not very good it's not very good but at the end of the day you can really whatever you want when it happens if you give this person a chance don't say that you didn't know because you were warned by me. So that's what I see with this uh, freaking person. So now we're going to take a look to your career, okay? Let's see what your career looks like, Gemini. Let's see how your career looks like. What can you give me about Gemini's career and or finances? Please and thank you. Thank you, Spirit. So we got the <clears throat> nine of wands, the judgment in reverse, the lovers, Gemini. We got the uh, five of wands in reverse, the two of pentacles. Look at that. Seven of pentacles and the ace of pentacles in the reverse at the bottom, six of pentacles and the six of wands. So you're going to be successful, Gemini. You're going to be very successful. I will give it six weeks to six months for some of you. Um, you have been working very, very hard. Um, I feel like you had an idea, a project or something, a passion that you were following. And you jump in and you did it. Nobody in your family supported it. Nobody in your family liked it. But you still jumped in and you did it. Because you knew it was going to be hard. But you actually were convinced that you were going to be successful. And that's why you did it. Because you have faith in yourself. Within time, you met somebody. It could be a partner, like romantic partner. It could be a business partner, partner, a soulmate, friend, a soulmate, soulmate, right? That helped you out and believed in you. And five for ones right here. Instead of like putting a lot of blockages in your journey, they actually supported it. Not necessarily money wise, but actually emotionally and actually telling you that you were gonna do it. Like emotionally supported by this friend or soulmate, right? Or soulmate, soulmate. And with the two of pentacles within uh four months or so of working very hard you have been you had seen some uh benefits you know income from it you know and you were like very very shocked you were like oh my god i have never have seen this amount of money or i never thought and believed that i was gonna be this successful so you're like trying to juggle like the reality and like your dreams like my dreams are coming true you know that kind of energy with the seven of pentacles right here and the ace of swords you soon will see you soon will see the payment of your hard work like you actually are working so hard in this project or this career it's gonna bring you big money amazing money that's gonna make you uh it's gonna help you have not only a luxurious life but a really comfortable life and a, be able to provide for family such as a wife a husband whomever you want to provide for you know kids a dog a cat you know whatever it is that you want your own little family you're going to be able to provide and get your dream house dream car whatever it is that you are looking for you're going to be able to succeed succeed and get those things for you and your family but be careful because as soon as you get very very famous and successful there's going to be a lot of family members a lot of leeches a lot of like bad slash fake friends wanting to come along and be like hey friend hey lovey dovey we are best friends we are family give me money money you know like doing that like you have to be careful with that because they're not doing it just because they care for you it's because they see you as a as a walking atm like oh no give me money help me out because we we met we known each other since forever but whenever you wanted to do something and you nobody believed in you and whenever you didn't have anything everybody meaning those people turn their back on you and now that you're successful they want something they want part of it so you have to be very careful who you call a friend who you call a family member choose the people wisely who are going to be in your circle because not everybody deserve it not not it does not matter if they're blood related or not 
not everybody has good intentions with you because you are going to be damn successful. I'm going to tell you that. A change of like 360, the way that you live right now is going to be so different in so many ways. And you're going to be so much blessed because you're blessed right now. You're going to be 10 times blessed. Now, Gemini, let's take a look at your new life, new life, new love. And for my singles, let's see what we got for you guys in love. Let's see. We got the Ace of Cups in reverse. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. You have the strength card, Leo energy. Thank you, spirit. We got the ten of swords, Scorpio energy, and the six of cups. At the bottom here, we got the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles with the ace of swords right here. So um, maybe love has been really bad lately. Like you haven't been able to connect with somebody specifically, or you like like you haven't met the one that you'd be like, hmm, I can see myself with this person. Because of that, you have been focusing in your uh, work working on yourself like you know trying to get attention uh, not attention but like your focus elsewhere you know because love was not cutting it love was not paying off completely you felt like it was a lot of work that no matter how much you try no matter how much you change your hair your everything it was something wrong something was always wrong and like you felt like people did not choose you this is something within yourself you know not necessarily other people doing this so in a way, you started being a little bit hard colded or cold and hearted or have a hard cold. I mean, a cold heart, a hard cold. Oh, God. Anyways, you had a cold heart and you got the nine of cups and the strength card right here. So you became quite aggressive, a little bit unapproachable, um, being like, oh, I don't need anybody but myself. I don't need love. You know, that kind of attitude uh, is because you were hurt. You know, you were hurt because of the things in the past, you know, people, whatever things people tend to do you know to hurt us that's what happened to you but somebody's coming one two three four five six in six months from now this is a soulmate this could be a lover from the past past life uh somebody that you went to school with or somebody that's like just very loving very romantic they love to give you flowers they love to to uh pamper you and treat you like a little royalty that you are and you're gonna fall in love with this person this specific person, um, this person is taller than you. No matter, this is just for gender fluid. It doesn't matter if it's a girl or if it's a boy. It's just whomever you, you meet that is a soulmate. Um, they have uh, short hair. They have blondish hair. This could be medium blonde hair to dark blonde hair to very light brown. Uh, they're taller than you. They're a normal size. This person has no beard. Beard. If let's say we go with male, female, um, they have no beard. Uh, again, they're gonna you're gonna meet in a in a park or an exhibition, a flower plant exhibition, or something about a wine place. Something. You guys are testing something. And that's when you're gonna meet them, um, and you're gonna have an amazing conversation. And this person is going to ask you, do you like flowers? And they're going to ask you about what kind of flowers do you like? For some reason, I don't know if it's you or them, they like red flowers. I'm not very good with flowers names, so you guys will pick the name. Uh, but it's a red flower. It seems to be very popular. And you're going to be very shocked because this person you thought is too good to be true. <laughs> but actually, in six months, you're going to meet this person. The two of pentacles, you're going to be like, oh my, what do I do? Oh my. Because look at that. You have been so disappointed in the past. So disappointed that you'd be like, oh, they're just like, this person's just like anybody else. But no. My goodness, I've been clumsy today. You have to get that out of your head. This person is different. I know that you want to, I feel like you're going to test this person because you have been hurt before. So you want to test this person's intention. But look at that. You're going to get yourself surprised because this person has no intentions to play you. They have no intentions to play you. They want to be with you. I want the Ace of Swords. They have to fight very good to win your trust. Because you have been, like I said, you have trust issues because of the past. And they're going to change that. They're going to show you that they're worthy. They're going to show you that they're not going to play you. They're going to show you that 
you are worth of love. You're worthy of love. So this is something that has been given to you, granted by your universe. Not because you're like, because poor person, no, because you deserve it. You were faithful. You have been very good and you have never stopped believing in the universe or blame them. So for whoever can relate to that part, that is why you're going to meet this person sooner than expected. And that's why it's going to be everything you ever. I feel like some of you wrote something on a note. I made a note on a paper and you guys describe how, how you wanted your soulmate to look like in the descriptions. You know, this person is going to match every single little dot that you wrote because the universe hurt and they pay attention and they brought it to you. Again, you won the battle congratulations so that is what i see for you you actually can even get married to this person you know this person seems to be very very serious about you so i'm excited for you and now before i go let's take a look at the monology oracle let's see what the universe has for you let's see what they have to say let's see what the monology has to say let's see We got full moon in Aries. A fairy climax, no, a fairy climax approaches. Ooh, like I told you. Then we got the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn, the devil representation. Oh, look at that! It's time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. Thank you, spirit. Then we got conclusions are within reach. Full moon and full moon eclipse. Then we got you are good enough, full moon and Virgo. We have the answers you need are are coming, full moon and Gemini. And last one, oh, I already read that. <laughs> and the bottom of the deck says meditate and contemplate. New moon on Pisces. And before I go, let me just give you a um, angel's message. This message is important. Just take it however they resonate. So we'll take a look at that. Oh, they told me to take all three. So, okay. So you got leadership, leadership, spread your wings, and brilliant idea. And it says leadership. It is time for you to assume your leadership, power, and position, and lovingly guide others. Then we got spread your wings, and it says do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect, and you are ready to soar. And last one says brilliant idea. It says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So mm -hmm. that is the message you got from your angels. And before I go, I'm going to give you a prayer. This prayer is given to you by your angels and ancestors. Please, if you don't believe in this, let it go. But please respect other people's beliefs. Like I like to tell everybody, my readings are for everybody and anybody who needs it. They told me to shuffle again, okay? Thank you, Spirit. And we got Hebrews 11, 1. Also, I heard that you've been seeing 1, 1, 1 or 11, 11. It's for a reason. So Hebrews 11, 1. And it says, Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we don't see. Again, faith is being sure of what we hope for. No, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. You see that? I'm going to read it again. They told me to read it again. Faith is being sure of what we, we hope for and certain of what we don't see. So that is the end of your reading there. So I want to thank everybody who has subscribed and joined this video. Please like and subscribe once again. And I'll be back next week with more readings. Also, I'll be uploading throughout this week with the Soulmate Twin Flame uh, little short readings as well. So again, thank you so very much. You guys have a nice day. Bless me.